Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to talk about our Lego tower that we built to hold a tennis ball. And we're looking at the tower built by Jill, Karen, and Delilah. Uh, Delilah started off by uh, starting with the top of the structure that would hold the tennis ball and built down. I was the digger looking for pieces, and Jill started at the bottom and started making the base, and we put it all together. And and as we were deciding, we had to get high. That was the whole point of this, was to get the highest tower. And we couldn't make a skinny tower, so we had to add supports in. So we took what was a weakness for us in our bucket of not having a lot of thick bricks, but we had a lot of thin uh, plates that we could use to support. So we were able to get higher than any other group because of these thin supports on here. So kind of trial and error as we were working, we decided to change a little bit with that. And then we also added some feet at the bottom to keep it steady so it would not tip one way or the other. Thank you. What would we change? I think maybe uh, we were the first people to choose a bucket. I think I would have been more selective in the bucket we chose just because we didn't have a lot of thick pieces. Of thing. We had to put a lot of skinny pieces together uh, to make it substantial. Um, you should mention, though, that we still won. We did win. We did win. In <laughs> fact, it was 37 and a half inches tall. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> so I don't know anything else that we would change other than because we worked really good together. We didn't argue. That was probably a good thing. Everybody had a job. Yes. Right. We won. Let me record that. No.